But uh, in terms of the United States, well, it's announced it will impose those new mandatory COVID uh, tests on all arrivals from China uh, from January the 5th onwards. It follows a decision by Beijing to lift its stringent zero COVID policies. Uh, will America join Italy, India, Taiwan, South Korea, Malaysia and Japan all announcing those new measures? So the health officials from across the EU now are reportedly holding talks about how they should respond. Let's speak now to Professor of Medicine at the University of East Anglia, uh, Paul Hunter. Paul, thank you for joining us once more. My pleasure. Uh, a bit of confusion amongst the politicians. Um, well, here we go, Groundhog Day, about how to respond to, to all this. Uh, what do the epidemiologists believe should be the right approach? Well, I think even before COVID, there's been a lot of work into how effective screening for infectious diseases at airports are. And there was a big review of the subject in 2019, actually, that concluded that they were pretty much ineffective. And uh, in fact, work since then on, um, on COVID, uh, you know, published in 2020, uh, came to the same conclusions that screening for COVID at airports wasn't actually going to achieve much by itself. And, uh, and, and I think that is the basis underpinning the uh, current view within the UK. But, you know, whatever the, the, the minister said, it is right that every, uh, these sort of things need to be under review all the time yeah. to see whether there's new data and information. So I don't think that is inconsistent with the, uh, the, the statement earlier by, that we're not going to okay. it, um, impose measures. Um Interesting, however, that Lord Bethel, a former health minister, as you know, um, was earlier urging the government to, to rethink its approach and, and follow Italy's example in, in introducing tests, genomic tests, they said, to basically see if there's any uh, danger of a new strain, uh, some kind of new mutation coming through that we haven't seen before. Yeah, well, the, the evidence, what it is from China is that at the moment they've got something called uh, a, a variant called BF.7. Now, BF.7 actually arose in Europe, probably Germany, and it's act it was quite common in the UK up until towards the end of September. And since then, it is being outcompeted by two other variants, the BA2.75 and the uh, BQ.1. And, uh, and so even if the... The variant BA, um, sorry, BF point seven, does come into the country. It's going to, it, it's here already. Right, it's been here for, for months, and and it's not doing well against the uh, the uh, the circulating predominant variants that we have at the moment.